what we will get in right here. See ya. For those who are unaware, Harmony OS is Huawei's self-developed operating system, which it is planning to optimize for multiple platforms, and on December 16th, the Chinese tech giant released the Harmony OS 2.0 mobile application developer beta, which is already joined by 1800 developers around the globe. And it seems Huawei have big future plans regarding their operating system because earlier today, on 30th December, Huawei held the developer beta conference where it mainly talked about the Harmony OS 2.0 developer beta. In this event, the company announced its growing number of developers for its OS and also talked about the companies that will launch different products featuring the Harmony OS. So with that in mind, Vice President of Huawei Software Department stated that, since the release of Harmony OS 2.0 two weeks ago, a steady stream of developers have joined the Harmony OS ecosystem. We look forward to working with more developers and partners for a win-win situation. We further said, Huawei is expecting 100 million devices to ship with Harmony OS from our 40 partnered brands by 2021. Did you hear that? 100 million devices will have Harmony OS by 2021. That's a huge number though, and Huawei seems pretty confident about it because they are doing partnership with different brands that will promote Harmony OS and that will launch Harmony OS feature devices to public. And that's really a great news. But let's see who I will be able to fulfill their words or not. Well, for that the Harmony operating system will be completely based on Android. Like developers have discovered that it is pretty much Android underneath, both in appearance as well as internal structure. They said you can even use Android Debug Bridge to peer into operating systems Android-like innards, but hear me out. First up, I would say it's too early to write Harmony OS as just another Android-based pin like Amazon's Fire operating system. There is still a chance that this situation is only for the beta testing phase to get app developers up and running quickly with tools they may already have. It can also be just a stepping stone for a more Android free version of Harmony OS, maybe by version 3.0. At the same time, it also makes a bit of business sense for Huawei to continue down this path. Just think, after investing so heavily in App Gallery and Huawei Mobile Services, both based on Android, it would be a completely waste if it threw them all out immediately. So I would say, it could be a strategy from Huawei, so right now take this thing with a pinch of salt and wait for some authentic news from Huawei itself. So yeah, what do you think about it? Do let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below. And if you somehow like this video, a sub to the channel will definitely make my day. So as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.